secret weapons of a power lifter. Five days out, ladies and gentlemen, five days out from weigh-ins, competition is six days out, three days out from our drive down to LA, which isn't the most beautiful drive in the world. It's a long shot, straight shot, ugly shot. Um, Five-ish hours, typically, if I leave at the perfect time, although we're going on a Friday, so traffic may be a little bit of rough, a little bit more rough than I'm used to. Me and Connor taking off probably nine o'clock, heading straight to our Airbnb because we have nothing to plan that Friday and drive down. Uh, today is kind of my prep day because tomorrow uh, we're going to my high school to speak a little bit. Thursday is packing and prepping the car and then Friday we take off. So today was the day I had to get my stuff together. I wanted to get a little car wash, clean the car. Uh, one, I know it'll get dirty, hitting bugs and things on the way back down, but I just want to get it a little bit cleaner. Uh, I got a full tank of gas, but I'll probably top it off come Friday morning. Uh, had to grab my underwear. We talked about the underwear situation with the USPA, just how it goes. You don't have to wear that. Have to. These aren't bad. Is that what you want me to wear? I don't know. I don't make the rules. I just follow them. Call me Pappy. I woke up, weighed about 201 or 202. So we're right on schedule. Not a big deal. My appetite's been pretty good. Um, I've been satiated, I guess. So I'm feeling pretty good. Eating enough. Carbs are pretty low. Fat um, is fairly high. Protein's probably around 200 grams. And calories are just a bit lower. But since my activity's low, it's kind of whatever. Uh, to be honest, my back, I woke up, it felt really, really stiff. I think it's partially how I'm sleeping. So I'm gonna try to sleep on my back and fix that a little bit. I tend to sleep on my sides and my hips and it really tightens up that right side where I've had that low back or SI issue. So we're gonna focus on that. Uh, we grabbed some snacks for, I'll probably end up eating them by Friday, but they're for the trip. Sun, sunflower seeds in case I have to cut water um, and I just need something to chew on on the way down. Beef jerky, just a good source of protein, low carb and fat, easily uh, uh, transferable in the car. Some Gatorade, something to sip on in case I don't have to cut water uh, or for Connor. Energy and life is pretty good. I thought it would actually be crappy. One, because again, I don't like to compete and we're about to compete. Two, uh, getting nervous for any kind of travel, just kind of part of who I am. I get a little nervous. And then uh, three, I'm eating no carbs, but overall feeling good. Twitching again tonight and energy's hot, so I'm not too mad at it. And what we didn't buy, which we'll probably do down there because I know where our Airbnb is, we stayed in it a while ago with Bryce and it's super close to a Whole Foods, is I'll get my recomp foods or ways to get carbs and things back in my system and those are my secret weapons. Meat day foods or the day before, there's a sushi buffet or all you can eat down there that I'll probably go to. Easy way to get in some protein, some salt and some carbs. Um, one of my favorite snacks I showed in the video, but it's um, some kind of either cracker or pretzel with peanut butter butter, a good, easy source of carbs, easy digestible for me. It fits my appetite and stomach well, uh, and it's processed. So good amount of sodium. Uh, so I'll be chugging water and doing that all day long. Uh, also the meat day, because I'm only doing one lift, it's actually kind of easy. So I'll be able to probably wake up, go check in or whatever, and then go grab Chipotle, go back to the Airbnb, chill, show up to the meat probably in the afternoon and pull. If I was doing a full meat, then I'd really have to stock up on sandwiches and things. Um, I don't eat breakfast, so it kind of depends on what flight you're in or how your appetite works on how you eat meat day. If you eat breakfast, do it in a timely fashion so you don't uh, aren't too full before you lift. I like to eat three hours before my squat sessions or so, uh, or deadlift sessions, but on meat day, yeah, you'd get a meal in, squat, then as soon as squats are done, I typically get a meal in again because I can tend to lift better or um, feel better eating sooner, closer to a bench rather than I can a deadlift. So I get my r first real meal in after squats, bench, smash that out. We're already six for six, congratulations to us. And then <clears throat> I'll get a snack in. That's where kind of those peanut butter crackers or uh, what are the, what's the typical power lifter? Uncrustables, that's the power lifting meal. Just a bunch of calories, easily digestible, easy to eat um, without making you feel too full, but you still get some energy going. Uh, got our caffeine sources. Con uh, Connor is also a caffeine monster. So uh, we bought some monsters for the way down. Caffeine monster for the monster, caffeine fiend. For, so we bought monsters. Uh, and then I bring on my spikes for the meat day. I'm trying to cut down on energy drinks this week and just drink caffeine from coffee, maybe one, two cups most, just so I uh, desensitize myself a bit so we can get a little fired up for the deadlift and hit what I want. Feeling good again tomorrow. We're talking to my, my old high school, which will be really, really cool. I haven't been back there in years, and that community was a big part. And my high school basketball coach was a big part of who I am as an athlete, who I am as a businessman, who I am as a speaker. Uh, he helped form me in that in many, many, many ways. Uh, so it'd be cool to go chat with him, see how the camp's going. I, I've been to that camp since I was 
probably th third grade and then coached it from eighth grade up until I was probably about 23. So uh, a lot of history there at this basketball camp. So we'll go check that out. Uh, feeling good, feeling great. Got the singlet, got my shoes, got to unpack my car to repack my car. Uh, and then it's on the road to LA, my friends. Powerade, pretzel, peanut butter, cracker things, sunflower seeds so I don't get hungry and I can just chew on things. Caffeine, secret weapons of a power lifter. Ladies and gentlemen, again, new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, more vlogs coming. We're turning up the vlogs. Connor's gonna be coming up here. We're gonna find adventure after this powerlifting meet. Right now it's a little hectic because of the travel and things. We've got a trip planned for Texas. We're gonna vlog that out, but we're gonna explore Northern California, show you guys around a little bit. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. New podcast every Tuesday, Friday. Mama's Boys, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you wanna go. And every Monday through Friday, maybe Sunday through Thursday. I might switch the schedule, but Twitch, I announced it on uh, Instagram and Twitter. Silent Mike 2Ks, follow me on Twitch, Silent Mike 2Ks and the number two. I'll catch you guys there. Appreciate you. We're out of here. <laughs>